Jeez. Oh my god, that went way down in salvage value. Can I just throw it in the tank thing now? I'm done with here. Just, it's not gonna help me any. How many? I don't know. Are they hidden? I don't know. And lots of fun. Okay. I'm afraid. Is one of these gonna say run? Is this gonna be an alternate ending already? Cause I know there's multiple endings. Oh, it's speeding up. Well, I'm gonna just sit here and wait. Well, nothing's happening, so... Why? I reinstalled the entire game. I, I can't even get back to the very beginning of the devil game. Because I can't we <laughs> What kind of baloney is this? This is the beginning. New day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere, Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay, hello there, welcome to Faz but the welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. It's exactly what it says. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. You are actually the owner of the pizzeria and you do what you want to the place. But 
the thing is, is that it's not what it's shown to be in the Steam thingamajigger. And it's actually a whole lot more to it, and there's actually scares to the game, and apparently there's even some multiple endings that I will be trying to find. Now, I did do this in the past, tried to record it, but the game, the recording messed up, and I was not able to salvage it at all, so I had to scrap everything, and then I've been meaning to do it afterwards, but then I got sick, and it was so bad that I couldn't do anything for, like, a week or two. Now that that's out of the way, I didn't get far in it. I haven't experienced any jump scares in it yet because I haven't been that far. And also, I changed where my webcam is. And I think this is a lot better of a spot. So, without enough talking, let's get into this. How to, a two-step guide to restaurant management. Use catalog mode to purchase items, and tracks and other supplies. Use blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. Okay. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows yeah. in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. So basically, I'm not completely sure. But at the bottom left, you can see on this item, there's a liability risk at the left. I'm pretty sure if you buy something with a liability risk, you when a night shift comes, you have a chance of having to defend yourself from whatever's trying to kill you. And I have not seen anything to do with this. I have not spoiled this at all. There will be things that are discounted, big discounts. But I have something like five liability up over there. I'm not sure about the liability. But I'm gonna try to stay away from that for some time until I need to. Maybe that's one of the endings. I have no liability risk. I have not one single clue. Okay, so I'm gonna want something that'll do good. Uh, health and safety. Um, what about this? Atmosphere. Bonus revenue, entertainment. I think I'll go for that. And since I've got 25 left, I'll go for this. New catalog. I do not want any of that right now. Uh, bleh. Okay. I'm gonna wanna put a balloon slot there. And then, duck thingy there. Play test. What am, how am I testing a duck? Okay. Why? Sponsorship offering. What is this? Fist time. I think it's offering to pay you advertising in your establishment. Why not? I just got 250 more dollars. Let's upgrade my floor plan. Oh yeah. <gasps> risk? Hold up now, why is there a risk? Was it because of that sponsorship thingy? Oh no. What did that? Wait, wait, I'm pretty sure there's something that doesn't... Does it tell you anywhere? Why? Why is there a liability risk? I would love to know. Risk zero, risk zero. Um... Is 
That's not good. That means there could be something in down here with me. Or wherever I am. With I need to change my location for the attack on phone. Your restaurant is like now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. So basically what I've got to do is I've just got to get all these tasks done and when I'm done with all the tasks the night is over. Now I have not done anything with something in here with me so I don't know how to deal with it or how to know when they're here or any of that. But from what I've seen the first slot is the quickest task to complete, the second one is medium and the third one is the longest ones to take. Or well, maybe it was the second one that was the longest. I mean, what's up with this daggone picture right there? That, that's not something you'd hang in the office with you. God, printing these menus is what was the longest. Good God. It's still scanning, but it's not scanned anything yet. And that thing at the beginning, I, I don't even know what was up with that. Yeah, it still ain't scanned anything. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Okay. Congratulations oh, on completing your first day. <clears throat> However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, Check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage, or if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. You know what? I've never went with the salvage. 
but I don't really know what I should do. I'll go with the salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as you taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. That's right. You get back to your original state, you little thing. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I'm confused. What am I supposed to be doing? Document results. Uh, let's just get out of here, please. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Jeez. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Oh my god, that went way down in salvage value. Can I just throw it in the thing thing now? I'm done with here. Just, it's not gonna help me any. the best out of them all. I don't know. I guess I'll say yes to that. I don't know what I'm searching for. Document results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. <laughs> with that, I wouldn't be messing with it. I wouldn't. I would not mess with that. Okay, so apparently. Should be a better. Yeah, there's better plates over here. I mean, I could get. Yeah, I could get that and get better. Safe or not. Unavailable. Why are you unavailable to me? Okay, I'll buy that. What is this? Enhanced speaker set. Deluxe speaker set. Good God, look at the atmosphere. Boop. Oh, I kind of mad. Got that. Whoa. If I'm correct, I think there should be some kind of secret hidden in this game. I don't have enough to buy it, so I don't know. What did I buy? 
All I bought was some speakers. Stupid thing is, I'm not buying that. I'm not. I'm not going with that sponsorship. No. It says no risk, so I don't think I should worry about a risk. I think the risk is when I'm doing the daggone salvage. I think that's the risk, because I could die doing the salvage. I'm not doing the sponsorship, and I have plenty of play tokens, so I think I might go and... Do this. Maybe there's some secrets in these mini games. All I'm getting is hundreds. Is that all that's in here? Oh, good God, a 500. Ooh, 500. Is, is this, oh, this is play testable too. You ready? Go. <laughs> I'm the best. Yeah, I'm the best, the best, the best, the best. Wait, what? I just got $100 for what? Dude. Great, now I can't see, but I have good lighting. Awesome. Okay, I don't necessarily have good lighting because there's shadow going off of there, so I need this to come look. I can't see at all. I looked into the light. Okay, so apparently I get money for doing this. I don't know what and what I did. There's gotta be some kind of secret with this. No, it's too simple. No! Something has to happen. Nothing is happening. No, 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 I wanted all 500s. Okay. Uh. Oh, I have enough of that game now, but I don't have any tokens left. I think I might go ahead and buy the game in case it goes on a discount next time to where I won't be able to buy it. Because it, it'll have a liability risk. All these dudes. Oh, the king of the I remember hearing something about him. Okay. Now that I got all that, what did I buy exactly? Oh, I bought the arcade machine. I'm gonna put that right there, and I'm gonna polish that, and I'm not gonna. Hit that button. I'm gonna go, and hopefully nothing in here. It's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go scan. Will this tell me if something's in here with me? Because that's really what I want to know. It's not even the point of... I don't even know what I was gonna say. I just want to know if something's in here with me. If something's in here with me, then I'll have to worry. But if there's nothing in here with me, then what's the point? Why am I worried? Exactly. I don't know. Come on. So, the reason why I know there's multiple endings it's because I didn't watch it, but the name of it, one of Markiplier's videos actually, said all endings. So, that's how I know there's multiple endings. How many? I don't know. Are they hidden? I don't know. <gasps> what big okay. Okay, there was no jump scare, but that scared the crap out of me. So, since I salvaged that one thing, he's in there with me now. I didn't have to deal with that last time. I've got to deal with that now? Maybe the game just glitched out. Maybe that's why there was no jump scare. Or maybe he doesn't have any jump scare, which that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so we're going back in. That's the thing though, there was no sensors. The sensors didn't detect anything. Okay, just play audio way over there and go with my business. <gasps> I saw that. He's on the right. 
So let's send him over there. <gasps> oh no, he's coming closer. No. Where's he at? Okay, then I wish I had that before. Saw that before. Oh, 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 no, you don't. This is boy fun. It's not the same as Friends of the Freddy's, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, he was right there, I saw it. Oh my god. This is not easy. Wait, so if I turn this one on, will it make me go down even faster? Yes it does. I'm getting the hell I'm getting the hang of this. He's staying on the right, I do know that. The menus is what takes the longest. Oh there he is, okay. Get him to go up there, um, um, posters, print the posters. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I got this. Come on! I don't know how high that temperature can go. Okay, where you at? Man, that's not gonna tell me. Yeah, that makes it go down a lot quicker. Okay, maintenance. Maintenance does take a little while to do. But not too long. So, if I save up my money and go into here, I'll be able to buy things to upgrade this for speed. That's very useful. And I hope I'll be getting that soon. You know, this is actually really good lighting. I haven't had this good lighting ever. I've got one more thing going. That needs to be going. And when this is done, I can leave. I was also focusing on one animatronic. Okay, it's time to do this stupid mess again. So I think I know how to do it better than I was last time. Who Before is it, you baby? is an animatronic found in the back alley. No, we are baby. unsure Foxy, baby. of its origin. I don't know. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist you? before claiming it as salvage. Is that or, spring trap? if you choose to, that is. you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. That's spring trap. I'll you do this. You have chosen to proceed time. with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, two one. What am I supposed to be listening for? Document results. Oh, document results. Begin audio so prompt handy. in three, two, one. So I'm gonna put it every single one that does this, I'm gonna say yes. Document results. Begin audio prompt. You get back down in your normal position. That's right. Okay, In three, two, one. Same time. Same exact thing. <laughs> Document results. Begin Gee. audio prompt in three, two, one. I'll go one more time and then I'll taste it. Document results. Begin audio prompt. 
taste your booty. Boom. Okay, I should be perfectly fine. Pumped in three, two, one. I haven't had a single jump scare in here yet, so I don't know what it's like. I'm still... Uh-uh. 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 Crap, I wasn't supposed to do that. Now the thing still has a chance of getting me. Document results. How many times did I tase it? You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Okay, so now I'm gonna have two animatronics I have to deal with. Not what helpful a to me. Deceptive calling. I knew it was a lie the moment I heard it. Obviously, but it is intriguing nonetheless. Wait, maybe that's that's how you get a couple endings. One of them not salvaging any. One of them salvaging all. And that's what I'm going for: is salvaging all of them. Because you know I want entertainment for y'all, but not for me. Because I'm gonna be terrified. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, I still don't know how to get that, but whatever. Let me see. Now I can get this. I can get this. I can get these. And that'll be it. Because I want to save up to get those upgrades and the thingy for the terminal. I've been playing for like an hour now. Not wrong with that. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna put that there, but why not? I still know that there's some kind of secret to do with this game, so I'm gonna go in and a couple times and try to find it. Just a bit laggy. I'll go down to that uh, lightning bolt. Time extended. Time wasn't extended that much. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! There's a rabbit. It doesn't extend the time by that much. Oh, there's a rabbit again! What is the significance of the rabbit? Cause I sure couldn't pick the thing up. Come on, give me a speed right off the bat. Okay, well... Let me go try the other machine, and maybe that's um... Maybe the... doesn't... Happen until later, maybe. I don't know. What am I doing? It gave me no explanation. I don't know if that's really loud. That's not fair. Hey. No!
go. I'm going back through that. There was a, there was a way for me to go. As long as I'm the la fourth lap, I stay at the bottom. I will be good. Why? Found something. What is this? So am I driving home? Not a fork in the road. Who's that? What? Come on, you know you can't be here. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Searching around. Okay, so I can't really do anything. Can I get back in my car? Okay, that's what I was expecting. Okay, then. So I can't go that way. It's getting narrower. The music's going away. And music's gone. Wait, why did I get out of my car? Oh, I'm home. I walked that far out to your house. What? Leave him alone tonight. He's had a, a day. I told you not to close your door. Let me in. This is my house. You can't ignore me like that. Open the door. I'll find a way in from outside. Wow. This is weird. What in the world? Oh, the glass is already broke. There's footsteps. I'm supposed to follow the footsteps. Ran off to that place again. He will be sorry when he gets back. Wait. No, you can't just leave me off like that. Who? And... How do I get access more to that? I'm gonna try this again. I guess. It's not even right. Ow! How is this even remotely bigger? Okay, that's the same. What if I just go 
straight to the back. What happens? He gone. He gone. He dead. He ain't never coming back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta go through all that. Well, I didn't mean to hit finish. But. I'm, I actually meant to end the video. Whatever. I'll get this done. I need that. And I need that. What was it? No! Snappers, I'm right, there's two. Okay, I'm getting the longest ones out first. Don't let it go too hot. So I mean they're both on the left. Can I can I just be like looking down the vent the entire time while my stuff is going? Isn't that the way it works? Oh no 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 Didn't it say to just look in the vent? How could I resist a promise such as this? Just go away. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. That was the most creepiest animatronic I've ever seen in this game. <clears throat> so I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Apparently, I am getting into the jump scares now because whew, I do not understand how this game works, apparently. So, I will just... Be seeing you in the next video. Cut to the app.